Well hey friends, it is Monday afternoon and we are home from our trip. We got in last night about 1 o'clock. Um, it was a really long day. We were at the border for an hour. It was ridiculous. Um, but we traveled most of the day and um, I, it was like during the, week, the, the night. So it was dark so I didn't film yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we are just home today and we are getting things unpacked. I'm going to have to leave pretty soon to go um, to the bank to exchange some money. And then, yeah, I'm just kind of putzing around my house, putting things away. I need to throw some laundry in um, and decorate for Christmas. So I picked up a whole bunch of stuff in the States and I'm going to film a haul for you. I don't know if we'll get to that today or tomorrow. Um, I'm not really sure how today's going to pan out. It's just one of those putts around the house, get things uh, back in order kind of days. And tonight I'm going to finish watching Gilmore Girls because I've only watched the first episode and I need to finish the rest. Um, thankfully, I haven't read any spoilers, but I keep hearing people talking about the ending. Please don't tell me what happens if you've seen it. Gilmore Girls is my jam. Um, I bawled like a baby when the finale was airing, like the commercials bald like baby um way back when it was on tv i love this show i never missed an episode tuesday night was my jam watching gilmore girls so i'm so excited to see what happens so anyways that's kind of a peek at today um colt's taking his nap it's 2 17 aubrey is hanging out and it's just a lazy day I didn't even feel like doing my hair. Um, needed a shower, put my makeup on because it makes me feel human, but my hair just don't care. I'm just going to kind of let it air dry and then I'm just going to throw it up in a messy bun and get stuff done. So I wanted to show you this one little spot here in my living room. I'm actually, I think, going to change this. Um, I like it, but I picked up something at Target that I just want to... Um, that will complement the other decor that I've got going on in this room. This picture, I just randomly put it there. I want to put like a big red bow on it. Um, I don't know if that'll stay. But anyways, this bin right here holds all of our Christmas movies. And I didn't really have another spot for this basket. So I'm going to see if I can find a spot. And then I'm going to change this out. You'll see it in my Christmas decor tour video, which will come out in a few days, but I wanted to give you this little look here at some something that I did that <laughs> I may be changing. So I'm off to the bank. My father-in-law came over to drop off my house keys and he's going to watch the kids. Colt's still sleeping. It's almost 3.30 um, and I realized that there's still a lot of stuff in the bed of the truck. We have a cap on the back of our truck so that's kind of really nice. We can store a lot of things in there not worry about the elements however um shane's probably gonna have to get them when he comes home i got something really cool i got a vintage sled um that i am really really excited about and i'm not sure i plan to put it outside but we don't really have a covered porch or anything like that and it, i'm afraid it'll get hit with the elements anyways i gotta go so i'm home this vlog is not that great today and I apologize. Um, I'm hoping that the evening will provide a little bit more fun and activity, but not every day I guess can be a stellar day. Um, so I'm going to make some dinner. It's now 20 to 5 and I think I'm just going to do some spaghetti and, oh shoot, Shane really likes hamburger in his spaghetti and I'm not sure I have any. I'm just check the freezer. Um, like in his sauce, you know? So, anyways, I just want like a really simple supper because I'm still half dead from our trip. And got lots to do. I threw in a load of laundry, fed the puppies, and upset the fruit basket because once the puppies start getting fed, all the other dogs go bananas because they hear that food jingling and you know what that means. Can you put it in the sink? Yeah. Thank you. Mommy. Yes, Bella. Thanks, We're gonna have some supper, bud. Oh, we have supper. 
Poor Colt lost his voice yesterday. He was having a really tough day, and he did a lot of crying, so he kind of lost his voice. Oh, what are you doing? Mommy, that? Yeah, it's a new thing that Mommy bought. Uh, Colty. Oh, no, that's Mommy's. It's mummy's. No, Goody. It's mummy's. No, Goody. You're silly. Oh, mummy's. Yes, that's mummy's. Mm. Mm. It's a table. Yeah. So I actually picked up this table by dumpster diving. I didn't crawl in the dumpster. It was sitting beside it. Um, but it's perfect, except for someone has put, um you know, a hot drink on here, and there's a little bit of, looks like some grossness there that I need to clean. I haven't done too much with this piece yet. However, um, I had put it in the truck, and when we were going to um, leave for Pennsylvania, Shane pulled it out so he could load the back of the truck, and he stuck it right here in the kitchen, and I kind of really like it. Um, I was thinking I might have to flip this piece because I don't have... A spot in my home for it. Our house is really tiny and all of the free wall space is kind of used up. So anyways, I kind of really like where he has it. I've got my advent calendar here. I'm going to put a wreath above this and then um, probably some decor or something on here. I don't know. I'm going to fuss with this area. Anyways, I wanted to show you this table that I got for free. This drawer does not come out. It's just I think it comes out. No, it's just um, a false front, but I love it. Like the legs are curved. It's so cute. And it was free. So I've got to share with you my secret for cleaning beauty sponges. So this is a real technique sponge. I bought it when I was in Pennsylvania. I've used it twice. This is my beauty blender, and this is what he took on the trip with me, um, and so it's got like a couple uses out of it with, you know, my liquid foundation, and this is my little powder sponge. Now, I can only get like one or two days out of using a beauty sponge before it needs to be cleaned, and I did not like using, um, well, as long as I didn't like using it, I would use the beauty blender cleaner to clean my beauty blender. Um, and once I ran out of that, I just didn't want to spend the money to get, like, a cleaner. So I was just using my Dawn dish soap. And while it got it clean, it didn't really clean it well. So I am using this. This is a bar of Fells and Naphtha soap. You could also use uh, Zote soap. You get this stuff in the laundry aisle. And it will clean your brushes and your beauty sponges and make them look brand spanking new. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these bad boys. Like you can see, they're dirty. Very, very dirty. This should be like a bright pink. And this should be white. And they need clean big time. So this is the before, and I'll show you the after. So here's what they look like. This is the um, powder sponge. This is my beauty blender. And this is the Real Technique sponge. Now, I'm not sure if it's really coming up on camera, but there are some deep set in stains here. I've only used this twice. I'm actually really, really loving it. But um, I don't know. I guess that's what you get for wearing full coverage foundation. It won't completely come out, but it is very faint and been washed really, really well. So anyways, fall snap the soap. You could also use that Zote soap. It's pink. Um, gets everything beautiful and clean. Okay, so I ended up going to Dollar Tree tonight and then to the dollar store. I was looking for some picks and a few Christmas ornaments to put in my garland. There's like nothing. Nothing left. So, um, I picked up a few things though, uh, so let me show you what they are. So I filmed my whole haul, but I didn't press record. So we're going to do this again, and we're going to do it quick. <laughs> so first of all, I went, I went to Dollar Tree first, but I'm going to show you what I got at Dollarama, because it's kind of what's in front of me now. I got two of these very thick glass um, mason jar style 
glasses with a snowflake embossed on the front. They've got a red metal lid and um, a really nice straw. These were $1.50. I got one for Aubrey and one for Colt. And I was thinking um, that I really would like to get a whole bunch more, um, you know, for when we have people over. However, I have some mason jars with chalkboard lids and metal tops and thick straws. Um, so I like to use those when I have parties and stuff, but so I really don't need any more of these. However, the cute factor is so high on these that I'm really debating on whether to get more. So I got two of those. I also picked up this metal galvanized bucket. I have wanted this for a very long time. Um, this was $4.00. This is about a foot tall. I am going to stick one of my Alpine Christmas trees in this. Um, it's a mini tree. I'm going to try and decorate that tonight. So that I think will go in here. And then I got some um, sandwich bags, some tin foil, and then Aubrey has lost two pairs of mittens already. So I picked her up another pair. These were three dollars, which I think is just way too much money for dollar store gloves but they're very thick and very I don't know very thick Colt has a red pair of those um, and the whole reason I went out tonight is because I wanted to get ornaments for my garland I already have my garland decorated but I feel like it needs more stuff um, and so that's what I was looking for but everything is so picked over there's hardly anything left um, so I went and I picked up this set of ornaments I love the color. It's They match what I've already got going on in my garland, and they match my Christmas tree decor, which I have went with a red and gold theme. Um, the gold that I've used is not too yellow gold. It's more of this soft yellow, I don't know what you'd call it. It's really, a, it's a soft, soft gold. It's not yellow. Um, yeah, so these were so super pretty. I loved the snowflakes in them and they match what I have already. Um, I also picked up these snowflakes. So these are large snowflakes. They're cream color. They're not white. They're cream and I do already have some snowflakes in my garland. I'll just give you a sneak peek of it. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, you can't see it too, too well, but that's kind of what it is. I filmed um, how I set it all up, but I feel like it just needs more. So I'm going to redo it tonight, I think. Um, Anyways, I liked how the snowflakes mimicked this, so got those. And then um, at Dollar Tree, I picked up two of these ornaments. Now these are kind of like a faux mercury glass ornament. They had yellow gold, this is more of a rose gold, and there were also silver ones. I loved the silver ones. However, I'm decorating with gold. I didn't need to buy any silver ones, and at this point, there was only one left. Um, I have six of these already on my tree, so I picked up the last two that they had. I was going to add them onto my garland, but I don't think two will really do that much. It will just look funny, so I'm going to probably find a spot for these on my tree. Then I got this little bracelet for Aubrey. It's really cute. It's stretchy. And I got these Merry Christmas um, decorative ornaments. I love them. Again, they're really pretty gold. Some of their gold, again, is just super yellow and it looks very fake. Um, but this is just a softer sort of gold that uh, I just find it's very, very pretty looking. So I got those. I'll probably attach these to presents. There's five of them in here. Um, or I'll do something else with them. I'm not sure. We needed candy canes, because what's Christmas without candy canes? So I picked up two packages of candy canes. And then I got Aubrey these two decorative boxes. I think they're adorable. Um, they've got these penguins on them. They're so stinking cute. Um, so I thought those would look cute in her room. And then I picked her up this mailbox. Um, I bought her a mailbox before, and she just loved it. So I think I'll little notes and stuff in here for her. She just loves that kind of thing. I like the little flag is up. <laughs> um, and then lastly, I picked up some Dawn dish soap because I needed some soap. So anyways, that is my haul. And I forgot, I also picked up these bowls. They were $1.25 each. I bought four of them. 
thought they were so pretty. My sister had a Pioneer Woman uh, set of dishes, and it sort of reminded me of this pattern. So I was really excited to get these. I don't really need extra bowls, but these are smaller than the bowls that we have, like our cereal bowls. So I thought these these would definitely work in our house. So I got four of those. Hope you guys had a great evening. It's just a little after nine now, and I need to edit this video and get it up. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and watch me some Gilmore Girls. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Let me know what you were up to today. I hope it was good. I hope that tomorrow is good for you as well, and I will check in with you soon. Bye, guys.